So this is it. This is the ranch hand bumper that I ordered. As you can see here, there's the part number. This one's supposed to be able to accommodate my camera system that's on my truck. I am excited to get this all unwrapped, make sure everything looks good and get it on the truck. All right, so this is out of the back of the truck now. And I started pulling off the packaging. I'm leaving it on the plastic and the cardboard here so that I can minimize any scraping or scratching that would happen to the bumper. But yes, it's big and heavy, so make sure you have helpers or an engine hoist or something to pick this thing up because it is very heavy. But now I'm going to pull the truck up here to get this thing ready. There are some brackets and everything that needs to be installed. As you can see here, there are pieces that come with the bumper. Mainly things like bolts to put the brackets on and, and then also, of course, put it on the truck. It comes with instructions and everything inside of that box. The instructions are pretty good, at least for my model truck. It has went through everything I needed to do to get off the bumper and to get this ranch hand bumper ready to put on, which I'm gonna do now. All right, so of course you have to take the front bumper of the truck off. To do that on this truck, you have to pop the hood, you gotta take off the top of the radiator cover, you gotta take off the grill, you gotta take off that, that white piece right there that goes across. Uh, there's some other pieces you gotta take. It's actually pretty involved to get the bumper off. Now to put the ranch hand on, that's why the grill and everything's back together, it's a lot easier to get in there and rebolt it back in. But to take it off, there's a lot of different pieces you've got to take off to actually get the factory bumper off. Now I'm gonna get the ranch hand bumper ready. And this is what it looks like with the bumper installed. I did not go through the install instructions because it's actually pretty hard to install, especially if you're by yourself. I did have some help to get this installed, but if you are not a person that just loves doing this type of work, you need to understand that it's it's a good amount of work and it's a very heavy bumper. So you may want to find out how much it costs to have it professionally installed or be ready for a good while in your driveway putting this thing on because you got to take your truck apart and it's many things you got to take apart to put it on. Then you mount this on, then you got to get the parking sensors put in and the fog lights put in and it's heavy. So just know that. But if you're used to doing stuff like this, you know, not that big of a deal, as long as you have some help or some equipment to make sure you can get that thing mounted right when you bolt it on and then have the time to do it. But I think it made the truck look really good. It really helped me out with these front tires that were rubbing in the front. So now the bumper clears those front tires with these, there's no front bumper issues at all with these 37s. I get really, really close to the fender flares in the back with these 37s. Sometimes if the truck's angled in a certain way, I can actually hear it rub a little bit, but I don't plan on taking off, you know, any more of those fender flares to cover it. If it's still gonna rub or if I still hear that very often, I'm just gonna lift the front up a little bit more. But I really think it gave the truck a good look and i like my truck but you know the factory bumpers just really aren't that tough they're pretty easy to bend to be honest with you so i really like the fact that i got the new bumper on the front for a couple reasons one it's a very sturdy bumper it does cover the grill well and it allows for the camera mine has the front camera so this is the part number that does allow for the front camera, the adaptive cruise control, and the parking sensors on there. And as you can see, my parking sensors are white since this is a high country. So I left a little white dots. It doesn't really bother me actually. The other thing that I really like about this is of course, it's got the receiver hitch in the front here. I'm gonna wire up this battery cable that I got. I bought some one slash zero gauge battery cable, 25 red, 25 black. And I'm going to use that to one, create me quick connects for the front bumper and the rear bumper for a winch because I have a receiver hitch mounting winch. It's also going to be used for jumper cables. I'm going to make me some jumper cables that plug into the quick connect. So that way I can just plug them into the quick connect to jump somebody if they need it, especially with how I have to jump farm equipment and everything like that all the time. 
And then again, those quick connects for the winch and the jumper cables are also gonna be used to operate the dump trailer when the battery's low and also to charge the dump trailer when I'm driving. So they're gonna have a lot of uses out of that battery cable and the quick connects. So all of that will be coming in a video soon, but let me know what you think about the truck. Do you like it? You think I need to lift it more? I don't want a lifted to heaven type of truck, but do you think this looks okay? Do I need to lift? Anyways, let me know down in the comments below. All right, if this video was helpful in any way, if you'd give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so already, if you subscribe to the channel, that really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Y'all take care.